I met Sharon uh, back in 2009. So I guess you could say like we're high school sweethearts. We met in high school at a mutual friend's uh, backyard barbecue. And I walked over, I introduced myself. We hung out for the first time that night. I mean, ever since that day, we just hit it off immediately, became really good friends, and here we are today. Sharon, it seems like our whole lives we've been talking about this moment, and now it's finally here. I've had the pleasure of seeing you grow into this tremendously funny, unique, sensitive, and sweet person whom I'm lucky to call my best friend. We seem to do everything in tandem, down to going to the same college and liking the same part of the same song. It only feels natural that I'm standing here with you today. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I can remember the days when you first met Michael. Without going into all the embarrassing stories of those early days, I can safely say for almost half of your life you wanted Mike in some capacity. There's something inherently sweet and special about getting to watch someone you love so much get everything they've ever wanted, especially knowing how badly they wanted it. When you care about someone, your happiness becomes intertwined with their own, and there's no words to describe how happy I am getting to see you get your happily ever after. I've known Mike for 12 years now, and he certainly has changed quite a lot since high school, but once he started dating Sharon, I never saw a man work so hard. I always knew Mike as the guy with an eye towards his next hustle. And getting married was literally the farthest thing from his mind at the time. Mike, I hate to admit it, but she managed to make an honest man out of you in four years, something I couldn't even do in 12. So I can honestly say that Sharon brings out the best qualities in Mike. And because of Sharon, he's a kinder, more driven, and loyal friend. And more importantly, he has become a great partner in life. I want to marry Sharon because she loves like no one in this world. She's vibrant. She steals the room wherever she is. She's the most passionate and caring, kind person I know. He's the funniest person I ever met. <laughs> we laugh at the same things, which is actually kind of rare. He's sweet, he's kind, he's extremely determined. He's gonna be a great husband, great father. I never thought with anybody else that it, I could or that I would, but with Mike it was just from day one, it just felt like he was the one. Family and friends, welcome to Sharon and Michael's wedding. We have gathered here together in the presence of God and these witnesses to join Sharon and Michael in this holy matrimony. As they come before us to be married on this special day, Sharon and Michael wish to acknowledge and thank all of you for your friendship, love, and support. Seeing that no moment is without meaning, we ask that you take this marriage as a beginning of your lives together. Today signifies the creation of new home and a new family for, for both of you. May you be fulfilled by each other's love. May you be overjoyed by the promises you're about to make and the life together you will create. I, Michael, take thee, Sharon, to be my wedded wife. I, Sharon, take thee, Michael, 
to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us, do us part. part. Sharon and Michael, as I fastened your hand together and tied the knot, I invite you to reflect on the joy and responsibility that awaits you. From today, being bound together in the commitment and intentions of marriage means that each of you is in lifelong place to love and deeply, deeply love by one another. It is my honor now to pronounce you husband and wife, Michael, you may kiss the bride. It is my honor to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Delaney. I'm so happy you're marrying my sister and officially my brother-in-law. You felt like family for so long. You really are a stand-up guy, the kind of guy you want for your sister, and I couldn't imagine anyone better for Shaft. I love to watch you grow as a couple. You treat each other with an incredible amount of sweetness and respect. Sharon first, we just want to tell you how much we love you and how proud of you we are. All our children are special, but you are our baby, and you always will be. Michael, we love you dearly. You are have been like a son to us for the last couple of years. You fit right into our insanity. But I gotta tell you though, when I first met you, that was when he was about 15 or 16, he was a wise ass. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that's my daughter doing hanging out with this guy. <laughs> But anyway, I didn't see Michael for probably, I don't know, from the time he was 17 until you guys started dating three and a half years ago, four years ago. And instead of the wise guy that I knew, I found Michael to be extraordinarily intelligent, charming, a wonderful guy. I mean, I couldn't say enough about him. And he is still a bit of a wise ass. <laughs> But now, now, he does it in such a refined and endearing way. It just makes us love him all that much more. Love is willing the good of the other, no matter what. It's putting yourself last and putting the other above you. It's being selfless. It's when two dreams become one in life. It's remembering to honor the vows that you made today. It's being open and honest with each other. And I hope for you that you always grow in love and that you always have health and happiness because above that you mean nothing. And Mike, we're so lucky to have you. And Sharon, I love you. Oh.
Sharon and Michael are so good to be for each other. They complement each other so well. Just seeing them together, you, you know this is it. This is right. This is true love. Without a doubt, their marriage is going to be an extraordinarily happy one. No doubt that you've both found your perfect match in one another and I wish you years and years of love, friendship and sweetness. I love you both so much. Here's to you. To Mike and Sharon, may you live a long and a happy life and never quit on each other.